Thank you, Calista. The Daniel Riley trial is set to resume later this morning. Today could bring more gripping and emotional testimony about the crash that cost teenage volleyball player Janae Edmondson her legs. Well, the Power of Two's Chris Rene is live downtown with a preview and a recap of day two's testimony. Chris. Blair and Tiger, morning to both of you. Janae Edmondson, as well as her mother, could both take the stand today. This trial continues to unfold inside the Carnahan Courthouse just behind us here. Before the trial started, authorities told us it would likely take three days, and this will be that third day. Yesterday, the prosecution called an accident reconstruction expert to the stand. That expert breaking down a computer recreation of the crash from February of last year. The expert testifying that the Audi SUV, which police say Daniel Riley was driving, accelerated into the intersection there at St. Charles and North 11th Streets downtown, speeding up from 5 miles per hour to 45 miles per hour. A Chevy Malibu traveling about 30 miles per hour was approaching the intersection and hit Riley's SUV, sending it airborne. Janae, who was in town for a volleyball tournament and was walking with her family, was pinned between the SUV and a parked car both of her legs had to be amputated. Riley faces five counts, including assault, armed criminal action, and driving without a valid license. Prosecutors argue the crash never would have taken place if Riley did not rapidly accelerate through the intersection. But Riley's attorney, Dan Deemer, pushing back, arguing that the recreation was not precise. Deemer shifting blame to the Malibu driver and also questioning the police investigation. You will hear from the prosecutor, then Deemer. You're saying even if the Audi didn't touch its brakes at all, as long as it wasn't pedal to the metal, the, ex the crash would never happen. That's right. And yet the Malibu had still enough force with less weight to lift and start to roll the Audi. That's correct. A Missouri Highway Patrol toxicologist testifying that a blood test revealed Riley had multiple drugs in his system on the night of the crash. Prosecutors also introducing police testimony that Riley showed no remorse following the wreck. We will have to wait and see who the defense might put on the stand after the prosecution wraps up its case. For now, live downtown, I'm Chris Renier.